Hi, I'm Zaina Juliet. Dana Juliet and Friends. Stay tuned for great conversation and music each week. And now, here's Zena. Now it's showtime. the opportunity of listening to uh, Zayna Juliet songs, right? Of course, I played it on the radio. Everyone loves it. Actually, everyone loves the slow, sexy Zayna Juliet. But I want to hear something that's really, really hidden hard, Dale. Let me hear something that's hidden hard. All right, this is good. I'll just what, you want to hear something that's hidden hard, Chad? Yeah, cut, I like it. Cut in the middle of something hidden hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit them hard, hit them hard. 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 Hit Turn it back up. Turn it back up. Turn it back up. Here we go. Man, yeah. 
That's fire. That's fire. That's that just is one fire. of them. That's just Jeez. one of them. That's fire. That's just one. Hit him hard. Hit it. All right, well, let me range. see. You got some fresh Oreos in there too. Hey, speaking of Oreos. Oh. Put your hand up. Yeah, speaking of Oreos. Put your hand up. Let's put your hand up. Oreo. Oh, <laughs> Oreo. He Oreoed me. Oreo. Hit him hard, hit him hard. Yes. Fuck it. Rock it. Hit him hard. Yeah. No, that's a good one. I like it. That's one of my favorites, actually. Yeah, that's one of my favorites now. Rock it. My favorite hit him song. hard, hit him hard. But I'm still like Moment. You still like Moment? Yeah, I love Moment so You know, much. I love Moment, too. It's it's really it's really motivating. It's sexy. It's, uh, yeah. it's driven. That feeling is yeah, really cool. Yeah, it, it, yeah, yeah. And I then, like we, that and then when you flipped it into Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, when I heard you know it, everything, huh? I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes, I will consider it and I will listen to the music. <laughs> I know. Well, here's the reason why. I mean, you know, I, I want to consider um, music from other producers and writers. And I, I do want to keep my mind open. But, you know, I do have a lot of songs that I have written. And um, I've written and I worked with other producers before in the past and there was just so, so many issues after the fact so many issues after the music is done and after you know when we're so far into the project and then the issues become too much you know it's a little too much to handle sometimes because it's so many demands and then you know even if I have my agent or manager in the middle of this it's still issues upon more issues and um, I like peace when I do my music I like to have a peace of mind and I like to be around people that understands me that 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 like to work in peace and you know it's like so many people coming at me from left and right and it's just like I really need to take the time and listen and think about it. Do you feel me? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Like I can. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad you understand. Yeah. And then I will promise you that I will call you tomorrow after I've had um, a moment to myself and in my own peace to sit and listen you know, I listen with my eyes closed and my heart open, and I want to make sure that, you know, um, that I'm making the right decision. And also, the music fits my theme and my show, and I have to feel it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll talk to you soon. Yes. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I'll call you tomorrow. Mm-hmm. You have a good one. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. I just don't know. I, I have to... Uh... Oh, God. I mean, it, it really makes my stomach like half butterflies because like, like I understand what people are doing and I understand the motives and 
and the things behind it, but I also understand that a lot of people want to genuinely present their music, but I have to really be cautious of who I work with, you know? Like butterflies, a symbolic of peace. Can you feel it? I feel it. Flying smooth, soft, fluttering like a floating feather. It lands on your hand and a mystical feeling come over you like the stormy weather. I dream. it gets really tough and and that's why I've been so frustrated mm -hmm. you know because I want everything to go really good yeah I know you always want everything's perfect I want it perfect <laughs> <laughs> but you can try that actually because you can just listen what they write for you and mm. then you can just think about that this is a good way also. Yeah, Sharon, you know, I'm trying to open my mind, you know. Mm -hmm. But I got to be honest, girl. Like, the reason why I'm so hesitant to listen to this music and, and start working with different producers now is because what I've been through, like, I can name 10 situations back to back. And each situation took so much time you know what I mean? Like, for example, while I was living here, still living here, I was working with some producers in Los Angeles. We're getting ready to put the record out. Huge, I mean, this was a huge project. I even brought some of the dancers from Vegas down there to work and be a part of the show. We're getting ready to shoot the video. I'm in the studio on my fifth song, and I'm in the studio recording, and all of a sudden, Sharon, out of nowhere, the producer says to me, Zaina, can I see you in the booth in here for a minute? And I'm like, okay, so I'm, I walk out of the recording booth. I go into the room where he calls me and he locks the door and he turns off the lights where it's dark. Yes, girl. And then he says, you know, I want you and start making advances oh. towards me but because I said you know I don't do that look mm -hmm. you got the wrong girl right exactly after that why are you turning me down no girls turn me down I said well I just did I'm not that girl exactly I know so we can you can respect me we can do music but you yet you're so blown away at the music that I'm making. You're so impressed with my songs. So then, when I didn't give in to the advances, he sabotaged and stopped the whole entire project. All those songs that I wrote, that I sang, that he wrote, and then some that I wrote with him. But because he's a producer, and he did the music, he dangled it in front of me, Sharon, and the whole project is over. Right after that, I don't, I, that was took a year of my life, okay? So after that, I regroup, meet a new producer, another deal, same thing. Yeah. Same thing. Producer, come on to me, and he writes the songs. Yeah. And I'm not saying that every producer is going to make advances or whatever, but it's just the fact that I'm left with nothing, and I have to start all over again. Here in Vegas, I was offered one of the biggest shows here. I worked so hard. I had the full band, dancers, four background singers. I finally got one of the top resorts here offered me my own show. Now, I'm not talking about yeah, a lounge exactly. show. I'm talking about a major show. Just to build the stage, Sharon, was over four or five million dollars. Mm -hmm. as, is what it would cost and there was going to be illusions and uh, magical tricks and all this and I put this whole show together I'm in my rehearsal place which is where I uh, another house that we lived in and we're in rehearsal and the executives and all the people who 
who were behind me to make all this happen. They all came to my practice. Sharon, I tell you, the whole street was lined up with white limousines. Wow. Yes, girl. So they're coming to the house, and they see me in the, uh, in the band and the four dancers and the four singers, and we're performing for them. Mm -hmm. They're lined up all across the stairs. They're all sitting, and they're all watching, and I'm performing. And then there was a break, and in between, you know, we're just kind of like mingling. I get called by the main executives to come step outside with them. Now, I step outside, and you know what they tell me? What? Your band do not have your best interests. I said, excuse me? They said, we want to tell you directly that your band is talking bad behind your back and your background singers. Mm -hmm. Two of your background singers and all of your dancers. They're all saying, don't work with her. You can invest in me. Forget about her. And they told me, do you know how crushed I was? So when I get, we walk back in the house. Everyone's oh. quiet because everyone knows that they said something to me. Yeah. And you know what they told me? They said, we don't want you to do anything with your band or the singers or anyone. We want you to just put a track in and just sing solo by yourself. And I did that. They were so impressed. Wow, this is what we want. They pulled me outside and said, we will put your band together and we will put the dancers together. This is, this is a real story. After that, mm -hmm. the dancers, mm -hmm. the band members, mostly the backgrounds, two of the background singers, they start bashing me, saying things about me that's not true all over the internet so bad and I'm in the process of shooting a couple of films till it got back to Los Angeles and and I almost lost my movies I lost a lot of things because they put this all over the internet all over the internet saying horrible things making up stuff that came from a movie <laughs> like one of them they said some of them went so far to say that I'm not even really a girl I'm a man and I drug people I mean it was horrible stuff you know but in the end, they tried to hold on, and they said, you have to get rid of all that, you know. And, and the fact that it was so much, until it took, it took time for me to clear my name, and everyone knew that it was a lie after that, after that fact. But by then, mm. I lost the project. Oh, Do you see? Geez. And so, so many of those incidents in this town, you know, even people right under my nose. So I had a lady that wanted to um, audition for background singing for me. And the manager and the record company I was working with said, oh, we'll give her something to do. Put her in charge of handling things for me in Las Vegas. She also sabotaged my shows. People calling the places where I'm going to perform, uh, sabotaging my shows. Why? Because they're trying to compete with me. And they want the context that I have. They want all that, but then they want to block me. So you know what, Sharon? That's the reason why I'm so hesitant to work with a lot of producers and listen to their songs and accept it. I'm trying to open my mind, girl, but that's the reason why. So now I do all my own everything. You, you see what I'm saying? So I don't have to deal with these people yeah. because each incident is a hold back and I can go on and on and on. That's really why I started my girl power movement. Yeah, you already have powerful. So girls don't have to, a lot of women feel that they have to go through this. Mm-hmm. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go for it, you know. And the dancers that I had from the mm -hmm. other project in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. they went behind my back, went back to LA. They'd never been to Los Angeles before. They went back behind my back, went to LA, and even before that happened, I walked into a room and I heard them talking about, "We're gonna take her songs, and we're gonna be doing, it. we're gonna steal her deal." I heard yeah. them. I heard them say it. And then they went to LA and they tried and they gave in to the advances. And the producer's brother called me and told me everything. Mm -hmm. And then guess what? He had no respect for them after that. So nobody got to do anything. But I'm still doing my thing and I moved on, girl. But Reno, you are perfect. I don't know, Sharon. I mean, that's the reason why I'm, I'm not. No, no, it. no. You are perfect. Trust me. And you write beautifully. I write... Sharon, I have so many songs. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and I'm... You're a, a good writer. Yeah, and so I don't need 
too many people writing for me and I'm going through a situation right now with that like people trying to write the, the same well, one of the guys who's trying to write for me he's already trying to compete and and put down my band already so you see Sharon that's why I just kind of want to keep my group really small with you and just a few people that I trust yeah I just gotta keep it real Mm -hmm. You know, this time around, I don't want nothing to mess it up. And when you can do everything yourself and, and you can write your own music and, yes. and keep it small, there's no carrot dangling. There's no bodies will try and stop what you're doing. In fact, now they're coming to me. Mm -hmm. And that's why. So I'm going to keep my mind open. Well, you know, I listen to your old songs, what you write it. I feel it's really good. Yeah. I love it. It's really perfect. Thank you. And so many people love the song. Yeah. And that's why they want to work with me from the beginning, because they like the music. Yeah, you know, I just share, share your song to my friends, and they like it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, whatever Asian friends or yeah. American friends, they love it. They right. like, wow. I love this song. Right. A lot of like it. Yeah, Everyone yeah. likes the music. And that's because I'm not trying to make it like anyone else. I'm trying mm -hmm. to make it from my heart. Exactly. Because yeah. you use the heart to write out all the songs. Right. So that's why it's beautiful. Well, mm -hmm. thank you, Sharon. But I want you to work with me on some <laughs> of the music. Yeah, I will. Put your voice on it. Yeah. So hey, Thop, I, I listened to you this morning on your uh, your show. It was really good, Sharon. Did you catch it? He had a crazy caller that called in. It was, it was kind of funny. Oh my gosh! Yeah, those is really. The lady called in. Oh my gosh, it was hilarious. The lady calls in and she wanted to tell her husband that uh, I know you were cheating. And I'm letting everyone know that you were cheating and I busted you and she did this live on the air. Wow. wow. So what am I supposed to say? What am I supposed to say? Um, wow. You want tickets? I don't know. You want tickets? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Wow. Hey, but listen, man. Um, I was listening to uh, um, one of Zayna's songs and now that the songs are ready to be released, yeah. what's next? What's next? Uh, we need to start preparing for her show, her, uh, her, her TV shows that lead her to China. Mm. And uh, Sharon and her have been coming up with all kinds of good ideas yeah. of uh, like a China against USA type of competition. Yeah, yeah, you were telling me the conversation you and Zayna had. What, mm -hmm. what, 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 tell well, me. we're going to do the show is American PK Chinese. Oh. Woo! PKH. China versus America. <laughs> so, Who can I mean? <laughs> there's a lot of great talent in China. Yes, in, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Right now, a lot of Chinese they're doing is really, really good. Yeah, there's a lot for of great the singing, talent. Yeah, for all the things. Then thing rock. Oh, DJ? <laughs> DJ? Got some DJs out there. That'd be cool to do a DJ battle. China yeah. versus US and DJ battle. So we'll need to. Uh, Set up some dates and figure out uh, what some uh, some auditions. Yeah, that's it. That's, you you I, have to do auditions. Yeah, yeah. this is you good. You have ideas. to do an audition. You have to do an audition. So, yeah, you know, speaking of auditions, you know, Zane is very particular, man. She is so particular. Not only that, she is a perfectionist. Mm -hmm. So I don't think you know, does anybody can come and audition? Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I've seen a Zane Juliet show. Yeah. You <laughs> have everything, Julia. the lightning in the sky, holograms. Yeah. Uh, you probably have a moose walking around. I did say moose is only one of them. Yeah. You see a moose running around the stage or something. Yeah, if not a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, very particular. But you know, every once in a while when we hold these auditions, we, we do find some talented people. Um, it would, uh, we're hoping that maybe we'll find some somebody out of Vegas. It could be any any state, any country, uh, any, anybody yeah. who's good enough to be in this band. I, I, yeah, I, I volunteer, exactly. I, I volunteer to be the Simon Cow. Wow. Yeah, I volunteer. Or, 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 or I, I could even be the Randy Jackson. What's up, dog? <laughs> oh, no? Not so much? Uh, how are we going to hold these auditions? We're, we're just picking a date or two? Um, this is what I suggest. I, I suggest we do one big audition in China and one big audition here in the States. Ooh. That way the States, they're not seeing what the competition, they don't see what China's doing and China is not seeing what America's mm. doing and then when mm. they meet, it'll be just like 
a Zayn and Juliet mm, show. Wow. Boom! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, because when you meet for the first time, yes. they'll, they'll have that competition thing. Uh, it'll be good. Oh, man, yeah. take this thing That's on awesome. tour. Yeah. Yeah. I also volunteer to drive the bus. Ooh. <laughs> Mind me, Jamaica, kind of got 35 jobs. You only got three jobs, you lazy yes. boy, you're not. Yes. <laughs> you know, Sharon, I think it would be a great idea mm-hmm. if we had, we're referring to China versus America, mm-hmm. Chinese singers versus American singers. Wow, yeah, we can do Chinese rapper with American rapper. Chinese dancers versus American dancers. Yeah. And you know what would be real cool? If we had like maybe um, audience participation, right? Mm-hmm. So they can actually uh, vote immediately. Yes. Whether they're at home, whether they're live in the studio, but they can vote. That, man, that would be great. Yes, 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 exactly. Because I think it's more people can pay attention for these shows, mm-hmm. you know? Because they wanted to know who gonna win is American or is Chinese. And you know what? Guess who really wins? Both. Yeah. They're actually be on the stage with Zayna Juliet. Yeah. What? You win. I think that's cool. Call Zayna. Call Zayna. Call Zayna. Call Zayna? Yeah, we'll give it that She's idea. busy right now. Call her. Are you sure? Hey, your numbers are in Chinese. The oldest Chinese, yeah. Do you know what this means? You need to learn Chinese word. So we can do like addition for them. I teach you guys speak okay. Chinese. Okay, so, 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 so in, in Chinese, if someone is doing really, really good, right? Mm-hmm. How do I say that was very good? How do I say that? Hanbao. Hanbao. Yes. Hanbao. Yeah. And if they were really bad, what do I say? Hanbao. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Hell no, you go home. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, uh, if you speak someone, it's not real, really you like it. You can say, "Um, sorry." It's, okay, someone's really good, right? They're really good. Hum bao. Hum bao. Mhm. Hum bao. Mhm. And they're really bad. Uh, 对不起. Sorry, 对不起. 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 对. 对. 不. 不. 姐姐对不起对不起 <laughs> Yeah, I find one thing is I can teach American speak Chinese. I it, think that it's going to be it's funny. It's one of the hardest languages to learn though. It's so that's why it's funny. It's not funny. Yeah, it's I just funny. Think that, I just think that like all, deep, deep, deep. <laughs> I just think that all Ch- uh, Chinese they sing when they talk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No? <laughs> no, it's totally different. Much different. Yeah, much, much different. Much different. Much better than you need what I just did. Yeah, you need to learn that. Yeah. You need to learn that. Yeah, learn that. Stop Should we bless our snacks? We bless our food. Should we bless our snacks? Yes. Or ble- okay, well, bless the food, bless the cook. If you ain't got none, just sit and look. Mm. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Mm. Anybody else milk that milk? 